Hello guys, my name is Volo and today we'll compare Bubble and Retool platforms. Let's dive in. To start with, Bubble is no-code platform suitable for non-technical users, while Retool is a low-code platform that requires some basic JavaScript and SQL knowledge. Bubble is mostly used for the creation of customer-facing apps like SaaS apps, marketplaces, mobile apps. It is also used for internal apps and ERP and CRM development. At the same time, Retool mostly focuses on internal software creation. Retool is primarily used by tech-savvy development teams, software developers who work for tech giants like Pinterest, Stripe, LinkedIn, Brax, and Plate, use Retool to code internal tools for different company departments using their favorite programming languages. Bubble, on the other hand, is primarily used by early-stage startups. However, both platforms are also suitable for traditional SMBs. Both platforms have powerful community forums where you can get help, learn, find solutions to your problems. However, Bubble have significantly more community-generated tutorials compared to Retool. In case you decide to hire someone to build the internal tool for you, it will be much harder to find a skilled Retool developer than Bubble developer. Bubble has many more agencies, developers and freelancers available. Both platforms do not allow the code export and leaving the platform, while Retool allows you to export the JSON configuration file, it can only be run within the Retool environment. If you decide to leave Retool, you will need to rebuild the app from scratch. Bubble doesn't offer the code export, only data export. While in Bubble, you can integrate 95% of platforms because most of them offer API. It will be much easier to use Retool for integrations because of its native custom code compatibility. For example, it's easier to work with SDKs in Retool while in Bubble, you will need to create custom plugins or workarounds for more complex use cases. Retool is more suitable when you already have an existing database resource like SQL, Redshift, BigQuery, Redis, etc. While Bubble has some great plugins to connect some external data sources like Airtable or SQL, there are far fewer options and Bubble's more common use case is to use native built-in database. Designs were never a priority for Retool. Their main focus is to help you build functional internal tools quickly. Therefore, if you want to create a visually appealing internal tool that your employees and clients will love using, you should use Bubble instead. In Bubble, you can literally replicate your Figma file and achieve UX use case of almost any complexity. Bubble is definitely more capable in making your tool mobile responsive. It has a powerful responsive engine with complex capabilities. Retool is not focused on mobile first experience. While it's still possible to make your internal app responsive in Retool, it's much more complex. Both platforms offer you an ability to build native mobile apps. Bubble has recently released Mobile App Editor and Retool has its Retool Mobile. Both platforms allow you to enable mobile native capabilities and publish apps to App Store and Play Store. Bubble's recent pricing update has been criticized for making the platform unfairly expensive. However, when it comes to internal apps, Retool might be more costly than Bubble. Bubble now charges per app usage, and since internal apps normally have lower usage volumes, they are relatively inexpensive to host on Bubble. In contrast, Retool charges per user, which could be quite expensive for internal tools, especially for larger teams. Now, how can you decide which platform is the right fit for your internal tool? Here is what I would do. I would go to Retool templates and try to find a template that is very similar to what you are trying to achieve. Retool offers a variety of different use cases and you can even launch a preview live demo. Then I will do the same for Bubble templates, but I will also check community-created pre-built libraries like Canvas or Basis. Relevant pre-built systems could be a major factor in choosing the platform because they make the development of the internal tool easier and can help you to save significant development time. If you cannot find the relevant template or system, then choose the platform based on the factors that we discussed earlier today, assess your priorities and make your decision accordingly. 
That's it for today guys. If you want me and my team to help you build the internal tool for your business, then you can book a free consultation with me at wemakemvp.com. See you there! Thank you for watching and bye.